If you love movies and movie discussions, you've come to the right place. Who am I, you ask? I am the Wiz, and I'm here today with... Zero. Zero. How you doing this week? A little glad and a little afraid. Uh-oh. Project that I am working on comes out soon, and I do not know what the reception's gonna be like. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Is this your first project? It'll be the third project that I will actually have an official credit nice all right man congratulations look forward to see how that goes for you yep, all right thank you thank you yeah no problem all right zero so we are here today to review the 1996 horror mystery teen drama the craft starring robin turi Faruska bulk nev campbell rachel true and skeet ulrich directed by andrew fleming zero i think it's kind of clear that we're not the age group for this no this one is no. so cliche oh boy <laughs> just let it go go ahead <laughs> Starts off with the main character, Sarah. She and her family move to a brand new house that they bought in Los Angeles. And she's kind of sh trying to go about her day. And at the same time, there are these three outcast girls that are trying to find the fourth person to be in their little coven or whatever. And then they notice Sarah. And then it just kind of goes off from there. And yeah. it's just so cliche because like you can just read everything just happening. It's so telegraphed. Yes, absolutely. It's actually a cliche of a bunch of different films. There is the high school outcast film where you have the new girl who hooks up with the outcasts and kind of finds herself in a way. But it's also like a you get a little bit of power and then you go crazy with that power. I absolutely 100% agree with you. There is really not an original thing about this movie that hasn't been done before in other movies or other stories or god knows what else but you would hope that maybe the personalities of the characters or the actresses who are playing these characters would actually elevate this up to another level and for the most part that does not happen i would say with the exception of Farusa bulk i don't think anybody has a personality at all like at all when they flip into being power mad it goes like on a dime it's like one minute they're like, oh no, like what is all these weird things happening? This is so cool. And then boom, they're crazy. Like, whoa, okay, that kind of happened all of a sudden. What about you with the performances of the actresses in this movie or the actors? It was just kind of, eh. I think it's just the fact that just the movie is just so cliche. Everything is telegraphed. You're just like, oh shit, it's going down. Oh, called it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think honestly, and not that I have watched these movies recently, but from what I remember like when I was in school, this could have easily been a Nickelodeon or a Disney Channel film, with the exception of like the really dark and violent elements of the film. So let's talk about something in this film that they'll never do now which is, is that they highlight teenage suicide in this movie. Like, when they show that the girl, like, slid her wrist. Oh, you did it the right way. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> like, I, I, <laughs> whoa, that's a little... <laughs> I forgot they did that. <laughs> it's like, okay. There are interesting elements like that in this movie. But I'm with you. None of this was interesting to me. Like I said, I think Balk is, like, the only thing about this film that I actually liked because she kind of just chews scenery throughout the entire movie. The rest were, like, as bland as cardboard. Especially the main character, which is Robin Tony, who uh, plays Sarah in this. She just has, like, no charisma at all in this movie. And Neve Campbell's the same way, too. And she's actually decent. A anything that you liked about this movie? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay. Mostly just because everything just seems so telegraphed. Yeah. And truth be told, I had not watched this movie. I remember the commercials for it. I was like, oh, this looks so corny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I agree with you. I was the same way, but only because I really wasn't a horror fan either. So I was like, yeah, I have zero interest in this movie whatsoever. But I would have, like... People who are like into Halloween, like into the scary stuff, witches, stuff like that would say, oh, that's a cool movie. I would rather watch like Practical Magic 20 times and watch this again. I don't think it's like awful. I'm with you. It's just so stereotypical. It is, it is so formulaic and by the numbers that the only thing that's shocking about it is just stuff that was allowed to be used in the 90s. And that is it. This is kind of like an interesting glimpse as to what they would allow teen movies to have in the 90s. And that is about it. And to remind myself that Faruska Balk was actually decent as an actress. That was it for me on this one. Apparently, they had originally planned for a sequel that was going to be straight to DVD. Mm -hmm. And then they just dixed it. They were just like, nope. <laughs> Which was kind of surprising because this movie actually did decently in the box office. And this was also around a time where R-rated movies, especially geared towards teens, did not make a lot of money. 
It didn't make gangbusters. I think it made 25 million of its 15 million dollar budget. But considering what the movie was and how much it cost to probably make this film, that's not bad. So that's actually good in that end. So I'm actually surprised they didn't go forward with it. But it gets crazier. When I was researching this, apparently it's been kind of back and forth because in May 2016, Sony Pictures announced that they were going to make a sequel. Then apparently that announcement just caused everyone who loved the original to just say, oh, oh no, this is going to be a fucking shit show. Once again, Project Bear. And then apparently in March 2019, Project was then uh, taken over by Jason Blumhouse and his Blumhouse Productions company. This is where it gets just completely insane. You had Zoe Lister-Jones signing on to write the script, Daniel Casey um, uh, to do production uh, as the screenwriter, Kaylee Spaney as one of the leads, and then David Duchovny was cast as an <laughs> undisclosed male role. <laughs> yeah. In 2020, Sony released a trailer that announced instead of uh, being released to the theaters that it would be put via a on-demand streaming thing in October 28th of 2020. <laughs> what a fucking wild ride for, for the sequel. <laughs> Alright, Zero, so let's rip off the band-aid. So overall, what did you think of the craft? God, it is terrible. Oh, wow. If you're into kind of campy teen movies, yeah, sure, you might have fun with this, but if you're looking for something that's got substance, this ain't it. The horror element is so telegraphed that there's no suspense. It's just kind of a, uh, something bad's gonna happen? Oh shit, something bad happened. Okay, well, all right, no suspense there. Let's keep on going. It almost comes off more like a teenage TV show than a movie to me. Yeah. Uh, mostly because of just kind of like the day-to-day -day happenings that they go through in high school and stuff. Maybe it would have been better if it was kind of adapted into a TV show or something. I don't know. As a movie, I just did not enjoy it. It was like nails on a chalkboard for me. Oh, it was that bad, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't think it's as bad as you think it is, but I do think that it's kind of generic and bad, so I'm not going to recommend it as well. I think if you're nostalgic for this type of movie, like in the 90s, these type of teen movies, then I can see why you would enjoy it in that aspect. But I'm with you. There are too many elements of this film that are just way too telegraphed and way too familiar for it to be interesting. The only thing I got out of this I liked was actually Feruza Bulk as Nancy in this film. So overall, Zero, do you recommend The Craft? No, I don't recommend it. Just <laughs> It's just so so bad <laughs> tell us how you really feel and i also do not recommend the craft but then again we're not teenage girls so <laughs> we're not the audience <laughs> oh man check it out on peacock or mgm plus if you want to watch it now if you want my full review on this movie you can go to my website at, at iamthewiz.com you'll have my full written review right on the site along with a link to the video that has this review that you've just listened to. Thank you for listening to this review. If you want to know what we're reviewing in the next couple days, you can look on the screen right now to see what's coming up next. If you like what you heard, go ahead and leave a like on this video. If you want to discuss your opinion on the film or the review itself, please leave a comment. And if you want to hear more, subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for listening. I will talk to you next time.